Hey, codingphase.com. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, and I done did it again. All right, listen, guys. Quick advice for everybody: doesn't matter if you're a junior, doesn't matter if you're a senior, doesn't matter if you're mid level, doesn't matter if you're a fucking coding ninja. Right? I don't care. <laughs> this is a quick advice: stop jumping on the latest thing. Right? Especially when you're trying to push something to production. When you're working in production, guys, you do not push things that are experimental. Right? It's like just because you start seeing a lot of people using online and they're like, hey, uh, we want you to use uh, whatever, Bootstrap 4 or fucking even Boma IO, which I, I love the framework, but for my own projects. When you at work, you got to fucking test the shit out of that. You can't just be like, hey, I'm going to switch up on, on the framework and nobody knows until the last day. You know what I mean? Because I'm in a situation right now where I'm going to have to go and redo so much shit because somebody else was using a, a, a latest version of a library, which broke everything. Because our website has a lot of legacy code. So it's like now we got to go in there and, and change a lot of shit, man. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, guys. It just be very careful. Be very careful. Always ask somebody whenever you're going to add a new version of anything. It doesn't matter if it's the latest version of Windows. It doesn't matter if it's the latest version of Ubuntu. It doesn't matter if it's the latest version of uh, a fucking library. I don't care if it's Ramda of version 4.0. I don't care if it's uh, the latest C Sharp. It doesn't matter what it is, guys. You need to ask the most senior person in there, right? The person who's in charge of the project or the person who's closest to that person who's in charge. Because that saves your ass from getting in trouble. That saves your ass from people looking at you like you're fucking crazy for doing some crazy shit, uh, you know, on, on the website. So this was just a quick advice, man. Like, I'm telling you guys, listen to me. You're going to be fine. But, <laughs> you know, like every day there's new situations, even either in my job or situations where people text me like my friend is freaking out because of this situation where it's like somebody came in with a whole different version and started coding um, their code in a certain way for the newer version. But what they didn't think of is like, hey, everything else on the website is legacy. But now me adding this new version, now all those things are not going to work. So now somebody, whoever's the senior developer or whoever's the fucking developer, mid-level, whatever, is going to have to go in there and fix all the mistakes that the person did, which brings in more work for them. That's just what I'm saying, guys. Like, you just got to also, too, man, coding is not about just like, oh, being smart, man. It's about having common sense, man. I don't care if you could solve the biggest sorting tree fucking bullshit. I'll fucking clap for you. I'll be like, you know, great. You, you did a fucking good job on remembering some, something stupid, right? But if you come in and you fucking just have no common sense on certain things, it's like, to me, I have, I have no no patience for that. Like, I'm very, I'm very cool, and I'm very nice with everybody. But, man, it's just, just have common sense, right? Common sense of, like, hey, maybe this doesn't work with the website. Maybe I should ask somebody because there's legacy code throughout the whole website. So, if I go and change something, maybe somewhere something's going to break, you know? Before you start coding anything, it's really good to do pseudocode, right? Just go in there, type down what you're doing. Type down what's going to happen. Like, if I click on this button, it's going to show this modal. Like, write that down. Don't code yet. Write it down, right? And it's the same thing. Just to keep your, your head, like, you know, sharp. 
and know what the hell's going on. Because sometimes we want to start coding. We're like, oh man, I go online and I find, you know, the latest fucking uh, Harry Potter framework. And I'm like, I want to just add this to the website. Yes, buddy, you could do that. But then what's going to happen with the rest of the site? You're going to go in there and start recoding shit from five years ago, ten years ago? No, because now you're doing double work. You know what I mean? Like, guys... <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I just really wish everybody would just have common sense, man. You know what I mean? Like, have common sense and, and, and start thinking about that, man. Start thinking about just the simple things about web development. Start thinking about just using your, your brain. It's that simple. It's nothing too crazy. We're not asking you to, to create a, a, a fucking, I don't know, an app that makes your phone fly. Nah. Just keep shit simple. Keep shit as simple as possible. Keep shit as simple as possible. What's the, what's that thing? Keep it simple, stupid, or some shit like that? I forgot how it goes. But, yeah, man. It's like, come on. Just keep it simple, guys. But, yeah, man. This is a quick little video for you guys. Because I love you guys. And I want to give you guys a quick, very quick advice today um later on tonight i'm putting a whole bunch of videos for the laravel like a pro i will be releasing the the first i think it's like the first 10 videos of the course which is just doing the to do app so you guys could get a little preview and then from there it's, it's more like that first to do app, to do app which is called task manager is just pretty much uh, a quick example of Laravel, right? I don't go into details. I just give you things to follow along and understand how Laravel works. Then from there, I go into every single detail after that, which is going to be a lot of videos. But if you really want to learn it, guys, check out CodingFace.com. Uh, hopefully, once the, the whole course is complete, I will release it on Udemy. But I will say, man, if you're a developer right now and you're trying to get into to the industry, man, join CodingFace.com. I, I guarantee it, guys. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to basically go in there every single day. There's a new video. So, yeah, check it out. All right, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the kid. Make sure you check out the description, right? I have a whole bunch of links there that are very helpful for developers. So just check them out. It's not going to cost you anything to just look at it. Okay? See you guys later. Bow. It was over now, dogs. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything. All right? You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids. All right? And then from there, you got my sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, Udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say, hey, I'm actually a developer who's successful and I'm doing my thing thanks to Udemy. Okay, guys, check those links out. Best instructors in the world. They're right there. Trust me, guys. Believe in me. All right. And then from there, you got the Discord, which is basically a chat room. It's a, a way to communicate with each other. Like, you know, all my friends are in there. You got your boy, Matt. You got your girl, Barbara. You got a couple of people in there. You know, we got Cam. We got the whole squad is in there, guys. Listen, check it out, man. Put in some time. Just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys. Fun don't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingPhase.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.